Introduction to SOLIDWORKS. In this tutorial, we'll create multiple circular bases and multiple circular cuts. We'll also create a circular pattern. Later on, in a separate tutorial, we'll make this drawing. I'll create a new part and click OK. The tutorial template that's being used has units set to MMGS and a di dimension standard actually set to ISO, not ANSI. To begin, I'll draw a circular base starting with the extruded boss base command. I'll put this on the top plane. I'll, get, I'll enable the circle tool. Select the origin. Move my cursor away and click and I'll add a dimension of 128. With the smart dimension, I'll click on the circle, move my cursor up here, and click 128. And instead of clicking OK, I'll hit Enter on the keyboard. Next, I'll exit the sketch. I'll key in 7 for the extrude depth, and I'll click in the open space to see the preview update. Then I'll click OK. Next I'll save the part as pressure plate. I'll overwrite the existing one. Next I'll add a boss. I'll start again with the extruded boss base command. This time I'll select the top face. I'll reorient to a top view. I'll draw a circle centered at the origin. I'm not going to click OK to these property managers. That step may be unnecessary in some cases, such as after drawing sketch geometry. I'll move directly to the Smart Dimension tool, click on the circle, and key in a dimension of 75. Next I'll offset the entities by 5. I'll select Offset Entities. I'll click on the circle and then I'll key in 5 and turn on Reverse and click OK. I'll exit the sketch. I'll select Trimetric to see the preview better. I'll key in 12 for the depth and I'll click OK. Next I'll create the center hole cut. I'll select extruded cut. I'll select this face and then I'll uh, reorient to a top view. I'll draw a circle centered at the origin and I'll dimension the circle 25. I'll exit the sketch. I'll reorient to a trimetric and I'll select through all for the end condition and click OK. Optionally, you can walk through these instructions to create hole wizard holes. Next I'll add some fillets with the fillet tool. I'll select this face and this face. When I key in 2 and click in space, I should see a preview as long as full preview is selected. I'll click OK. Next I'll create another extrude. Select extrude boss base. I'll select this face. Reorient to a top view. 
I'll expand the line flyout to find center line. I'll click on the origin, move my cursor up, click again. I'll add a circle to the end point of the center line. And next I'll add a few dimensions. With Smart Dimension, I'll select the center line, key in 35, and I'll select the circle, and key in 27. I'll exit the sketch, I'll key in 30 for the depth, and click OK. I'll reorient to a trimetric view. Next I'll make a cut through that boss. I'll select Extruded Cut. I'll select this top face. I'll draw a circle. I'll use this edge to center the circle with a dimension of 15. Smart Dimension. Select the circle, key in 15, Enter. I'll exit the sketch and I'll make this into a through all. To add a few fillets, I'll change to a hidden lines visible mode. I'll select the fillet tool and then I'll grab this top face, this back edge, this bottom edge, and this front edge the fillet automatically goes around tangencies. I'll click OK. I'll change back to a uh, shaded with edges. Next I'll create a circular pattern with six instances. I'll turn on a temporary axis. Next I'll select the Circular Pattern tool and I'll select the central axis for the pattern axis. I'll make sure to set the number of instances to 6, turn on equal spacing, and for the features to pattern I'll pattern the fillet feature and, and additionally the cut extrude and the boss extrude, all three of these. Finally, for the last feature, I'll add a couple of fillets. I'll turn off the Temporary Axis tool for now. I'll enable the Fillet tool, and I'll select this outside edge here, and I'll select this inside edge here. After clicking OK, I'll save my part. Thank you.